So I thought we'd start the video blog on uh, the rebirth of this car. Uh, as some of you know, it had an eBay turbo kit on it, and the turbo failed, and the manifold cracked. Um, the manifold had cracked once before, and I just decided that instead of repairing it and rebuilding it, I'd rather just throw some money at it and get it right once and for all, and make some good numbers. So, <clears throat> since it broke, because that'll be the starting point, things that I've added, I've put the uh, reflective um, heat uh, shielding on the back. Um, that's just to protect the wiring, as it does get quite hot down there. Um, I mean, it was fine before, but it's just one of them things. The new manifold will be bigger, so we just need to make sure that anything, the last thing I want is wires melting and that could be a disaster. Um, obviously we put the coolant hoses in for the uh, for the new turbo. There's one of the fittings there and the other one is down there, it's falling off. Um, these come off the throttle body, <coughs> as, uh, as I'm sure many of you are aware. The coolant passes through the throttle body and this tees off, well it doesn't tee off actually, it, it, it forms part of the circuit. For the turbo so obviously it goes out the block into the turbo through the throttle but i'm not sure actually how that flows but we'll see anyway it's, it flows in that sort of direction um we have an emission little coolant reservoir um i was using some ebay plastic tanks um which sat here and they did work very well except that they kept leaking so I spent out and got a mission motor tank and made this bracket for it. It's a very nice piece. I'm just a little concerned about the clearance though between <coughs> the uh, the tank and the AC connection down there. We'll have to see if it knocks then I'll have to possibly move that somewhere but we'll have to see on that one. Uh, obviously next thing is for the uh, methanol injection we put flow sensor in for the flow gauge that's there, um, like I say that just intercepts the line to the nozzle which is there, that was on before so there's nothing really new about that. Uh, <coughs> the only other thing the engine made is I replaced the oil uh, feed setup down here with some better quality fittings and lines, um, like I said there was nothing wrong with them, I just put them in. That What I've got there is better quality and I'm happy with that. Um, Obviously, that's quite important. If that popped off, we might have a bit of a problem. Uh, next thing is just the flow gauge itself. I'm, I don't think I've actually done a video on this one, but there it is in all its glory. Um, like I say we've, we've tested did a test video on that, so that's all there is to say about it. So, yeah, in all, I'm pretty excited about the, uh, about the new build. Uh, the car's gathered quite a lot of dust as it's been sat for about three months now. Um, really hoping I can get these bits on soon. Um, it should be really good, really good quality stuff. Lee's stuff always is. So on that note, on a dusty note, um, that's the end of the first video. So thanks for watching.